This is GBC Rover, um, a new, new LEGO GBC module design of mine. Uh, it's themed a little, uh, it's kind of half construction, half space, depending on how you look at it. Uh, its principal operation is a bucket uh, that moves balls from the input tray uh, into the next module, which sort of, sort of butts up against here. Um, it meets GBC standard, it holds both, has an input tray at less than, or at exactly 10 bricks tall, um, will exit balls just over 10 bricks tall, um, accepts a full 30 balls. There we go, there's my 30 balls. Well, actually, I'll pull them in later so we can see it in operation. Um, so let's, uh, let's have a look at it running uh, for a little bit uh, and then I'll talk about some of the key aspects of the mechanism. Uh, Alright, <clears throat> so the, the module is timed to run two balls at a time. Uh, as you'll notice when I was in the running before, uh, if it gets a bit of a backlog of balls in here, it will actually move three, sometimes even four in a batch. Um, uh, so my little fumble before trying to show this by hand is, um, this module is very much timed, uh, very much designed, it's important that um, it's obviously not on a crazy angle. Uh, and the reason for that is the, the delicate balance in, in the timing mechanism. So if we come back down here uh, and, oh, let me run it in the correct direction. Yep, that was the correct direction. All right, so run it in that direction. And we get it close to timing. We'll see the bucket is just coming down. The relationship between uh, this little gateway opening the balls and the bucket coming down is very fine. Um, uh, to, to so much so that if I run it backwards, let's just get it to the top. If I run it backwards, uh, and it's a little difficult to see because I've made it all in black part. But basically, if I run it backwards, this gateway opens before the bucket gets to the bottom. Uh, so it is a one-way direction module, um, not a two-way direction module, unfortunately. Uh, the two main aspects of the mechanism is, is actually just two cranks. Uh, so we have uh, we have this lever relationship happening here with a bucket. That basically allows uh, the bucket to kind of do this flipping motion where it kind of uh, does this kind of scoop action. Uh, and that is driven by this crank here. So this one is responsible for basically driving the bucket backwards and forwards. Uh, and then on the other side, we have a second crank here. And this one's responsible for, for the timing of the open and close, uh, which is a little three by three series of three by three bent lift arms in here. Um, and uh, what I would say is luckily or unlucky, I'm not sure, took a bit of experimenting to get this timing right. 
is I haven't needed any kind of special length. So this is all more or less standard lift arm angles. Oh, let's put this at a good angle. Standard lift arm angles and lengths. The same on this side, there's no special. They run off the same key axle. Um, so it helps keep the design a bit simpler. Um, the rest of it is just a mix of Technic. Uh, I, I've got my Technic and my gearbox down the bottom for the mainframe using a brick built input tray. Um, possibly could be a fully Technic input tray. I tend to like to mix and match uh, brick and Technic uh, for, to achieve different, different effects and sometimes just make life a, a bit easier in terms of the build. Uh, tires are just for show. They do actually turn, but they're all on friction pins. So, because otherwise we wouldn't want the module rolling array on the table. Uh, so that is uh, GBC Rover. Um, instructions are up on my website, uh, lorigia.com. So if you like the look of this little module, it is a quick, I would say it is a fairly simple module to build, uh, fairly low parts count. Um, uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed watching this video, certainly jump onto lorigia.com and check out the instructions. Thank you.